and welcome back to redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. I'm your host Mikey and in today's tutorial we're going to explore the Affinity Shells Cowl. This cowl actually really took me by surprise on the simplicity but also the really effectiveness of the stitches. I also think that the yarn has a lot to do with it. We're going to be using Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable today and this color as I can see is called Petunia. Really fun and fabulous. The colors change so slowly that you end up with a really really gorgeous cowl. So without further ado, let me tell you a little bit more about it and let's get started. First of all, this is the side that you'll be working on when you're creating these shells. So on the one side it has the indentation in like a bowl, but when you turn it around it pops out like little popcorns on the other side. It's really interesting. Uh, once you get beyond the repeat pattern, which is only a few rows, then basically the whole scarf or the cowl will materialize before your very eyes. And then once you're done, you just have to attach it together. Now when you attach it together, you're either going to go flat or you can put a twist to it like it does with the model so it has a permanent infinity twist. So that creativity is left up to you and this is just really amazing. I really love the color line of this and what we're going to be using today is a size five and a half millimeter size I crochet hook today and, and we're going to be using Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. So let's get started. To get started we're just going to create a slip knot. Remember this never ever counts as one. Let's insert our hook and let's just chain 34. So you're not going to do that with me on camera. So remember this never, never counts as one. So one, two, three, and four, and five. And go all the way to 34 for me. And when you come back, we'll start this pattern. So now that we have our chain done just like so, this is the width of this. So we're now going to start creating shells. Now if you look at the special abbreviations, special stitch, five shells are five double crochets in an indicated stitch. So it says in the instructions, it says shell in the sixth stitch from the hook. So we're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's where we're going to shell. So I'm just going to wrap it and just grab it. So I'm going to put in five double crochets into that same stitch. So let's do that. And then I'm going to explain something to you in just a moment because you're thinking, why did you go all the way to six? And if you're not thinking about it, you should be thinking about it. <laughs> so it's just one of those uh, things I want to make, make it very clear to you that we have. So I got my five in and so let me explain that to you. So the reason why you went to five is that you've actually, that, that whole distance that you just went counted as the beginning first double crochet and chain two. So that's basically a double crochet and chain two. So that's why you have so many being skipped. So you do need that gapping right into the edge just like so. So let's uh, begin our next portion of this line. So all we're going to do now is that we're going to look to the bottom of the line and because we've pulled up so much string here, this will happen to you so I want to make sure that I leave it here in the video is that we have one, two, three, and four. So we want to skip four and we want to go to the fifth. Okay, so we're going to skip this whole distance and then we're going to put in another shell. So that's how we're going to do this entire line. We're going to be skipping over these four. So because the shell has five in there, when the shells are on the top of each other, they actually can extend to reach each other. So that's why there's so much of a gapping space because the top shells can actually attach to each other without any problems at all, just like that. So we have four and five and then coming back down. So one, two, three, and four going to the fifth, another shell. So please do that. Uh, I'll meet you back at the end of the line. It's slightly different at the very end and I'll show you what to do then. Okay, once you get to the end of the line just like so, you're going to have just a few chains left over. No big deal. You're just going to skip over to the final and just go into the very last chain for a double crochet. So that counts as basically, remember that we went six chains from the hook. This is counting for what we did on the other side. So though it doesn't look as pretty as it does over here as being defined, it's the same thing. And so this is what you have at this particular moment. So let's turn our work. This row is so easy. This is, uh, Colleen was able to bang this off really quick. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into the top of this double crochet. And essentially what we're going to do now is that we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And in between these two shells that you see, just this gapping space, just throw in a single crochet. That's all this line is. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
Okay, next shells in between, throw in a single crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. Throw in a single. So this whole uh, scarf or this cowl is just operating like this. And it's really quite fun and easy. So one row you just have all these chains. One, two, one, <laughs> two, three, four, and five. And coming in. Once you get near to the end, okay, so you're in between the shells and the end. So you go one, two, three, four, and five. And then just the third chain up. Okay. Just like so. First single crochet in and then you're good to go. So this is what you have at this moment. So let's turn our work. This row is now the repeat row. So this is what you're going to be doing each and every time. So we're going to chain three. So one, two, three. This is no different than what you did down here. And so now we're going to shell. So what you can do is that you can count it over and you're basically looking for the middle chain of this grouping of five. I see it right there. So you can either count it over, okay, by skipping over two and basically just put in a shell right there into the actual chain, not to the gapping space. Okay, so you're doing a shell. So there's a five, will be five double crochets there. And then essentially we can either count it Okay, so one, two, here's your middle, one, two, there's your third right in the center. Or you can just look for it. It's up to you, you know, it's open lace work. You can probably get away with just eyeing it up uh, and once you get confident with the pattern, it'll probably go really quickly for you as well. So every time you're just going to shell, just looking for the middle one and please do that all the way across and when I come back, I'll just help you finish off this line and then we'll just get you started again. So basically what we're going to do then is just doing this grouping of chaining a five again and then doing exactly what we're doing right now. It's just a really easy and simple but really amazing looking pattern to work on. Okay, so I'm coming into the middle of the final shell area. You can basically these shells just sit on top of each other like stacked blocks. Okay, so they don't, they're not like brickworks of a house where they'd be staggered. These shells sit directly over top of each other. So it's an easy way to remember it. So there's gonna be five in the final five for your shell. And then what we just need to do is that over here, we just have to put in a double crochet right into the edge of where the single crochet is to finalize off that row. Okay, so then all you just need to do, turn. And again, you already know how to do this. So you're just going to chain one, single crochet into the first, and then chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And in between the two, just slap in a single crochet. And one, two, three, four, and five slap in another one and you can see the colors are just transitioning right before our eyes. It looks fun and fabulous and then once you get to the end just turn it and just do exactly what you just did on this last row in order to complete this entire project. So, so on behalf of redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd I'm your host Mikey and this has been the Infinity Shells Cowl brought to you by Red Heart. Until next time we'll see you.